Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday the 16th of November 2013 and today we're taking another look at Comet Ison and today we're going to do a flyby of the Sun as seen from Comet Ison on the 28th of November 2013 which is when Comet Ison will be taking its closest approach to the Sun. First of all let's zoom into the Sun so we can get an idea of its real size as seen from the Earth. The Sun and the Moon, as seen from the Earth, are about half of one degree across, or about 30 arc minutes. There are 60 arc minutes to one degree, so half of one degree is 30 arc minutes. I'm going to turn on a field of view marker which is 32 arc minutes across. As we can see, the diameter of the Sun fits perfectly within this 32 arc minute circle. So this will give us an idea of the size of the Sun as seen from Comet Ison compared to as seen from the Earth. I'm just going to turn off that marker. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to find Comet Ison and then we're going to go there. Okay so we're now looking at Comet Ison from 50 kilometers away. Now I'm going to change our view to the center of Comet Ison. So now we are looking from the centre of Comet Ison. There is the Sun, and here we can see another comet. This is Comet Enki 2P. Now I'm going to centre on the Sun, and then I'm going to zoom up. Okay, so I've just zoomed up, we're not closer to the Sun, I've just zoomed up like we're using a video camera. I'm going to turn on that field of view marker again and now we can see the comparison of how big the Sun looks as seen from Comet Ison right now compared to how big the Sun would look as seen from the Earth. So obviously the Sun is somewhat larger. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit because as we approach the Sun it's going to get pretty big in the screen so this would be a good starting point. We can still see that circle and it will give us some idea of just how big the Sun is going to look as we approach it. Now I'm going to change this from real time to one hour steps and I'm going to run this forward and I will pause it around about the 28th of November. Here we go. As we can see the Sun is getting bigger, looming larger. OK, now I've paused it. It's on the 28th of November and I'm going to change the steps from hours to minutes because obviously this is going to go by pretty quickly. OK, here we go. So remember that that red circle in the middle is how big the Sun appears to be as seen from the Earth. So Comet Ison is passing very close to the Sun. Now we can see that the Sun has completely filled our screen. We're at a closest point now. Now we're heading off. Now we don't know whether Comet Ison will remain intact as it heads around the back of the Sun. It is possible that it could disintegrate. If it does disintegrate, it will just carry on on its trajectory, uh, on the same trajectory that it's currently on. There is no chance of it heading off course and hitting the Earth or anything like that. At its closest point to the Sun on the 28th of November, Comet Ison will pass approximately 1,165,000 kilometers or 724,000 miles above the Sun's surface. Comet Ison has a very similar orbit to the Great Comet of 1680 and it's possible that like Comet 1680 it may put on its best display after it has been round the back of the Sun and is on its way back out. Here is the latest image of Comet Ison taken by astronomer Damien Peach on the 15th of November. You can see more of Damien's images on his website damienpeach.com I'll put a link in the description area for you. 
As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. I'll put a link in the description area for you. Thank you for watching.